Uh, hi, I'm Henry Timms of 92Y here at the Social Good Summit and just off stage is Howard Buffett. Uh, Howard has a triumphant speech for his second year. Uh, Howard, uh, you've really been a, a spokesman for, for a new generation of people talking about how things can be different. Tell me what you're working on. Well, I'll tell you what, first of all, uh, that is um, a responsibility I don't know if I'm, I'm ready or able to take on. So I, I would not like to think of myself as a spokesman for the generation. That said, I am more uh, than happy and willing to express uh, so much about the changes that we need to see in this world. And, you know, it sounds corny, but the word impact means more to me than almost any other word. And I think of just literally defining impact as, as improvement. I mean, there's no better way of saying it. How do you improve the world around you? And how do you do it in ways that others might not see? Now, when I think about it in terms of our generation, I think about how impact needs to be the new definition of success for everyone who's my age and who comes after me. It used to be wealth, fame, and power. If we can use those as means to an end around impact, we will change the world for the good indefinitely. Broadly speaking, the folks who continue to make an effort day after day are the ones who are getting it right. Because the challenges that we face, there's that famous quote, which I would butcher, but it's that no problem worth solving will be solved in our lifetime. So if we aren't willing to step up and take very long-term perspectives on the challenges that need to be addressed, they will never get solved, ever. And so for me, looking at aid and looking at philanthropy, we need to be taking 10-year, 15-year approaches, not one year, not three year. We need to be looking at an incredibly long-term methodology here. And there are some funders who are out there and doing that, but a whole lot more need to be going down that path.